Why do you like pain? Because you say out your mouth you don't. You say out your mouth you don't like being hurt. You say out your mouth that you don't like being disappointed. But you keep putting yourself in situations that's going to give you that exact result. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I am Kevin Lamar. To those of you that don't know, this is my YouTube channel. It's not your fault. And we are back with another video. So if you're new here, I appreciate you for tuning in. And if you want to check out any of my music at the end of this video, just go to this section right here. Go to where it says my music is here. Click on that. And it'll take you right on over to my music page. So now for the video. We got an interesting topic, man. So we're going to get right into it. I noticed that uh, a lot of people like pain. Even you. Most people like pain. Even though you say you don't, even though you say it hurt, even though you say you don't like how, how you feel, you like pain. So I'm going to cover three things in this video. First thing I'm going to tell you is how to know if you like pain, how to pinpoint if you like pain. Next thing I'm going to tell you is why you like pain. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is how to stop it. So let's go with the first one. How do you know if you like pain? One good way to tell is if you constantly subject yourself to people in situations that you know is not gonna give you the result that you're looking for. You know it's gonna hurt you. So whether this be a person or is a situation, something that you do, something that you're pursuing, or whatever the case may be, you know it is not going to give you the result that you want. But you keep going back. You keep doing it. You keep allowing it. This is one way to pinpoint if you like pain. Another way the tell is if you constantly try to communicate with people that you know is not going to treat you how you want to be treated or give you whatever it is that you hoping that they give you. You know they, you know they're not going to give it to you. You smart enough, you done seen enough, you know. But you keep going back. You keep allowing them access to you. You keep getting on the phone with them. You keep texting them. You keep allowing them to text, call, and be around you. That is another way to know if you like pain. See if I can think of one more for you. Another good way to tell if you like pain is you find a way to create it if it's not in it. What I mean by this is if ain't nothing going wrong, you find a way to make something wrong. You find a way to make something wrong. You find a way to create pain. So I ain't going to die too much off into that yet. But you kind of get the point. Those are three ways. They're not the only ways. Those are three ways that you can pinpoint if you like pain or not. So let's move on to the next section. Why do you like pain? Because you say out your mouth you don't. You say out your mouth you don't like being hurt. You say out your mouth that you don't like being disappointed, but you keep putting yourself in situations that's going to give you that exact result. 
So why do you like pain? You like pain because it's not you. You're not the one that likes the pain. That's why out of your mouth, you say one thing and something else happens with your actions. The name of my channel is It's Not Your Fault. So I hope y'all carrying this with y'all anytime you come into a video because that's the underlying principle to anything that I'm saying. It's not your fault. Because it's not you. That part of you that constantly places itself back in those situations that is going to give you what you say you don't want. That part of you is not you. It is what I talk about constantly, but that I haven't made a video about yet. It's your ego. It's your body's defense mechanism. That's what your ego is. Your ego is basically a defense system to keep you safe. So let me put y'all on game real quick. If you have not heard me say this already, your brain is hardwired to keep you safe from whatever it perceives as danger. Perceives mean it don't have to be actual danger, but if your mind perceives it as danger, it's danger. So, your body, your mind is designed to protect you from danger, right? So, this is how this works. Whatever you become accustomed to, that is your safe, your safe zone. You hear people say comfort zone, it is your comfort zone, AKA your safe zone. So after it goes on for so long, what your mind says to the rest of the body is, as long as we here, we safe. I'm gonna tell you the funny thing about this shit. Where you at, where you safe at, where your brain tells your body it's safe at, could be a toxic environment. But your brain does not care about whether it's toxic, whether it's blissful, whether you have joy. It don't care. The only thing it cares about is this is what I'm used to doing. So I don't care if it's dysfunctional. I don't care if it hurt my feelings. I don't care if it break my heart. I don't care if it make me pull my hair out. I don't care if it cause me to end up in jail, lose my kids. I don't care about none of that. This is where I'm safe at. That's what I mean by your brain is designed to protect you from what it perceives as danger. And whatever your brain perceives as danger <laughs> is typically the opposite of what you are used to doing. So if you are used to being in fucked up situations, dealing with people that constantly let you down, dealing with people that do not keep their word, Dealing with people that do not treat you how you desire to be treated. If you are used to that, your brain is going to want to stay over there. So that's why you keep going back. That's why you keep going back. That's why you had them two, two voices in you that seem like they're pulling you two different directions. One is pulling you towards your comfort zone and your higher self, your spirit is telling you, this ain't good for me. This ain't good for us. You don't need to be doing this. You need to let them go. They're hurting you. They're causing your life to spiral. We need to go this way. But what nobody tells us is, is 
this thing, this spirit, this energy, whatever you want to call it, it really lives in us. And this shit takes over your decisions. It takes over your emotions. It takes over your ability to think clear. And one example that I always stand out in my mind when I talk about this shit is I hear a lot of people say, how can somebody stay in an abusive relationship? It's because maybe after this video, you connect the dots. It is because they are used to being abused, whether it be physically, mentally, it don't matter. They are used to being abused. So again, the brain is designed to protect you, right? Anything that the brain is not used to doing, it perceives as danger. So if the brain has recognized that I'm always in this type of environment where I'm being abused, talked down on, ridiculed, I ain't never given no support, it's going to want to keep you right there. It's going to keep dragging you. <laughs> it's going to keep dragging you back over there. So this is exactly what happened with people that continuously go back to abusive relationships. And if you ask them, like, why you keep doing that, you know, they answer may be, I don't know. Or if you ask them if they like it, they're going to tell you, hell no. Because the real them don't. The ego does. That part of you that feels like it needs to go back to its comfort zone, it likes that. Because that's where it feels safe at. Some odd shit. Some odd shit. <laughs> Some odd shit. So, you like pain because the part of you that like pain is not you. It is your ego. And don't worry, the video is coming. But just understand that your ego is your self-protection mechanism. And we all have it. And we call it our comfort zone. So your, your comfort zone can be toxic or healthy. But whichever one you become accustomed to first, that is where your ego is wanna, gonna wanna continue to take you back to. Even, <laughs> this is so crazy, yo. Even if where you need to go is not danger. It's not danger where you need to go. Getting away from the abusive relationship is not danger. Getting away from the toxic person is not danger. Getting away from the person that always brings a dark cloud over your life is not danger. But you are used to doing it. So your brain is going to perceive it. It's danger. You got to understand that. Last thing. How do you stop it? <sighs> Let me tell you one way that you don't do it. It's by wishing it was different. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be the part that y'all not going to like. It's going to be the part y'all not going to like. So I'm telling you this before I tell you. It's going to be the part that you're not going to like. One of the ways that you don't do it is by wishing that it was different. And that doesn't work because you can't be nobody but who you are right now at this moment. And what you have to understand is you have two energies in you right now, right? One of them is stronger than the other one. One of them is occupied by your ego and the other one is occupied by your higher self. And for most people, their ego, the energy of their ego is stronger 
than the energy of their spirit. So guess who wins in most of the challenges? Your fucking ego does. You can't be the bigger person because your, uh, your ego won't allow you to. You can't be kind hearted to people because your ego won't allow you to. It tells you too many people done fucked you over for you to be nice to somebody. It tells you that too many people didn't hurt you in order for you to forgive. It tells you that too many people didn't hurt you in order for you to love. Your ego wins these, these battles. So what you have to understand is that more than likely in you, your ego is stronger than your spirit. So wishing that it was different is going to make the pain worse. You don't have the strength to walk away right now. You don't have the strength to be able to give compassion and love. You don't have the strength to leave the abusive relationship. If you did, you will be gone. <laughs> it is simple as that. You will be gone. You don't have the strength to walk away from the person that you know is going to hurt you in the end. You don't have the strength to do it. So... Kevin, what do I do? <sighs> you have to accept. This is where you have to put acceptance into play. And if you have not seen my video on acceptance, because I'm not going to go into all the details in this video, I'm going to link it in the description. So if you want to know what I mean by acceptance, if you want an in-depth explanation, go watch that video. But this is how you stop it. This is how you stop yourself from being caught up in that cycle. And as paradoxical and as like backwards as this sound, in order to free yourself from it, you have to accept it. Not run away, not suppress. You have to allow. You have to accept the fact that you are. <clears throat> you have to accept the fact that you are weak to the point where. You don't have control over yourself the way that you thought or the way that you want. And that until you gain control through acceptance, you're going to continue to get drugged by your ego back to that situation, back to that person, back to that hurt, back to that disappointment, back to that letdown. That's what's going to happen. And you have to accept. I said it's going to be a part y'all don't like. You're going to have to accept that that is who you are because that is who you are. You don't have the power to change it right now. Your ego is too strong. So how do you develop the power to Begin to overpower your ego it's through acceptance. That's how you do it. So, um, I hope this helps somebody. If it did, um, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe and, you know what I'm saying, come on back because... It is, it's my mission to, to get this out. And I know there's a lot of people battling with a lot of shit. And you think and you believe that someone else is to blame or you are to blame. And neither one of those is true. And I just want to help you understand it. So... That's the video, man. Um, 
Like I said, accept this video will be in the description below. So go check that out. And until next time, man, see y'all in the next video.